Uh, we're at Red Rock Canyon, the Paul Lake and I. Beautiful here. Red Rock Canyon is about half an hour north of Mojave, California on Highway 395. We're just loving seeing the evidence of erosion. I mean, look down here, it rained last night. I mean, you can see that this little channel is just fresh with water. I mean, that's the earth changing, you know, last night since we were here. And a lot of those campgrounds are half washed out with sediments. So uh, with uh, Richard behind the camera on the road to Bishop. Hi, Paul. All of the sedimentary rock. I mean, I love the, the, the cathedral-like look of that. This is all sedimentary rock. But then check this out. Right over here, it's all basaltic, which in, in non-nerd speak means lava rock, eroded rock. It's kind of cool. We've got two different uh, rock formations here. So, uh, so, do they call me McGregor, the cathedral <laughs> builder? No. There's Paul talking to some people. Um, panning, looking south. This is now looking towards um, the, I guess, be, would that be the beginning of the Antelope Valley? Looking south towards, I don't know, I think Mojave and Lancaster's over here. Really pretty skies here. Hope it's not too windy on here, but there's, look at this trail. I'm kind of thinking we may walk this trail. Look at that. Wow. Which if you turn that upside down, it says, Mom! This is awesome. Okay, that was this dumb. Is pretty Bye. Neat. We're kind of on top, we're on top of this little ridge you just, we just showed you a moment ago. But I just love all the stuff sticking out. Strange creatures out about. And then down here, I mean, just this, I don't know, what would you call that? A crag? A, I don't know what they call it. Anyway, just beautiful, sticking up. Just, uh, I don't know, it makes me want to start uh, writing poetry when I see stuff like that. Stop laughing. It's, it's not a volcano. I know, it looks like one from, it's a really cool anthill. What do we see here? <laughs> it's the great American desert black ant. It digs its burrows deep into the soil, aerating it, fertilizing it, so that these Joshua trees can exist with no water ever whatsoever. It's amazing. All right, let's check this out. We're walking along the wash. This is freshly wet from last night. Okay, I'll, I'll kind of do the time. Oh, let me step, 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 step. There's Paul. Down sure-footed. Our, our guide is right here. Oh, water. Okay. No, oh, I missed that one. Okay. Wow. And then look over here. Down there. This is pretty incredible. This must have been a real neat kind of a waterfall last night, early this morning when the rain was here last. This is cool. Hey, stop watching Facebook. Get out and go for a walk. It's a quicksand. Ooh. Whoa. Almost died. You gotta be pretty fast not to step in that. Recording right now, so Paul's going down. There's, there's water, I don't know if you can make it out in the video. A little bit of water still running through there. Boy, I hope the flash flood doesn't come barreling around the corner yeah, in a minute. There is, there is storm clouds. I'm going for a Darwin Award here. <laughs> Go. We just did a calculation to figure out how far down it is. Paul, what's the equation? One half GT squared. So we threw a rock and it took like, was it 2.9 seconds? Yep. So then we squared that, then we times it by 4.9, and then that tells us how many meters. We multiply that by 39 because there's 39 inches in a meter. Then we divide that by 12, and we got 134 feet down there. This, we got just fresh erosion right here. So let's for a minute imagine we're in an X-wing fighter. Oh, they came from behind! Okay. A sign. And another one there. Oh, there's more over there. I think the rabbit was running north. We've just done a loop. You know, we're, uh, we're earlier when we started, we were standing up there. So we've walked around and we're gonna be heading Here's up That's why I prefer the desert in most ways to the forest. Because if I was in a forest right now, I couldn't see this. I'd see bark and trees and leaves and beautiful ferns and manzanita and ceanothus and 
and such. Here, I can see the landscape. I can see the horizon. I can see the texture of the land. I can see the shape of it. I can see the forces that have been at work here. So the forests are beautiful, but the desert, it's, it's special. Exquisite.